ISC uh, Lifetime Achievement Award is really significant because they're chosen by their peers. Our board has nothing to do with it. Uh, we have a, a committee of artists and they put forth names and select uh, the winners each year. So it's, it's, it's very important. Well, the first time I came to New York, I was six years old, and my parents brought me here, and they took me to see South Pacific. And I said, I want to be up there on that stage. I want to be in New York. This is the place that I wish I had been born in, and I spent the rest of the, what, 12 years trying to get here to live. They had um, wanted to make something that would um, represent me, and I use the hand a lot in palmistry, images in my art and also I use my hands to make art so I thought the hand was uh, was an appropriate uh, subject matter. Achievement Award for sculptors. Uh, it's the pinnacle of the, any award that they can get, as far in my opinion, and the artists treasure this award. Uh, the long list of people that have preceded the awards tonight, is, it's the, it's the uh, encyclopedia of great sculptors. And so we're, we're really pleased uh, that to have two women of, of, of real prominence in the field of sculpture receiving the award tonight. And it just seemed really natural for me to find objects, put them together, because every object has a story. And so I invent another story about the objects that I, that I find and create another feeling about it. But uh, my daughters are also artists, and they recycle things, one in painting and one in sculpture. We just like to redo things and tell us something different from old materials. And that's when I became an artist. There's a long tradition of artists, you know, uh, doing uh, castings of their hands. But for Betty, it's particularly significant because she's in her 90s, and each star represents a decade of her life. And the hand has a star, and her hand, she's a storyteller, and she talks about being a storyteller. And when you look at that hand that she, that Betty created, and you think about all the stories that go in it, it just blows your mind. And I just want to congratulate Betty. And I want to congratulate Alice Acock for um, their Lifetime Achievement Award. Alice Acock has been fond of pointing out that she likes to take art out for a walk in the world. I would suggest that she also brings aspects of the world, particularly many of its different forms of energy, into her studio so that they might be seen anew through her art. I particularly want to congratulate our two award winners tonight, Betty Saar and Alice Acock. Uh, they're at the pinnacle of their careers, uh, and they're totally deserving of this award. We're so pleased. I was reading uh, Oscar Wilde, his memoir, and I read a passage which I made my, something I say to myself over and over. Because being an artist, as most of the artists in this room know, it's, it's got great highs, but it's really, it's a pretty tough life sometimes. And I remember reading Wilde saying, for my own part, the only thing I could do was to love you. I knew that if I allowed myself to hate you, that in the dark desert of existence over which I have been wandering and am wandering still, every rock would lose its shadow, every palm tree be weathered, every well of water prove poisoned at its source. I love art like that, and I think so many artists do, and um, thank you very much for this award. Mystical, race-affirming, feminist, guru, griot, master materialist, and feisty. All ages, Betty Saar has shown herself to be an artist for all ages. She allows us to confront those realities on our own terms and to find our way through the intricacies of life. We would find no better guide. Thank you, Betty. I think when I first started making art, I didn't really realize that I was doing. I just collected stuff. 
and a way I'm a kind of a junkie. And a way to not have to throw it away is I put it together and made assemblages, collages, and mixed media things. I, I felt that every object that I used told a story. And by recombining these objects and things, I would tell a different story. As I said to somebody, to sound really romantic, this is all I am. I mean, there isn't, you take this away from me and there isn't much there. This is it. And, uh, you know, I just, I'm, uh, and I think I'm very lucky too. It's always rewarding to feel that you're recognized by your peers, and especially the, the international sculpture. Because in a way, I don't really think of myself as a sculptor. I'm somebody that just recycles material. I make objects, so it is really exciting to be here and to be honored, and I thank you very much.